And what is up everyone and welcome back to more of the world of magic with Mei Li, the main warrior of our... I don't want to call this a let's play because that's definitely not what we're going to be doing around here. And in today's video, I have decided to go back to Woody Orton Forest in order to get myself armor. That's right. Today I'm going to be doing Al's quest. Wait. Is it Al's quest? No, 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 no. Wrong, wrong person. Yeah, here it is. It's Julio's quest. This guy right here. And today we're going to be gaining armor. Instead of farming it at our normal levels, because I have been training last time and I did not get the armor, so I decided to show this off just in case anyone who reaches level 5 has problems. So he says, what should I do? I need to prepare magic doll for Flora. We say, what's up? My friend Flora has been struggling a lot lately, so I'm trying to make a lucky doll to cheer him up. The problem is, I can't get the material because I hurt my hand. Could you please help me? Sure, what you need. I'm going to make stuff inside of a doll with a bolt of tail hair. Please put the leather over it and get the doll complete. Can you get the bolt of tail hair and bring it to Mary Weaver? A bolt of tail hair? Yeah, alright. If you get three, you can get a tail hair and uh, you just make it. You get three of them. Alright, cool. A drop from bulldozers. Okay, so. Where's the quest? What? No, we don't need that. Okay, tail hair. You need to give Mary Weaver along with Bolt of Terror times one. You can get the Bolt of Terror from Julio. Wait, what? Huh. Weird. Okay. Well, anyways, um, so yeah, we're supposed to process bolt tail hair, and he's supposed to make us a bolt of tail hair, and we're just only supposed to make one, but I believe we need other ingredients, so. I don't believe that, you know what, I'm just gonna, to save time from looking through all these bags, because I have bad ma bag management. Okay, so I don't have three. Alright, cool. So now we just need to go train on boars for a while now. The good part about this is brand bills are green and blue bo and boars are still blue. So you still gain some sort of EXP. Which is good. Now, the one thing I wouldn't recommend is doing this quest if you're already at my level. Because most likely more than not, if the Oh my god, that stupid rock from last episode. Um Most likely more than not a Oh my god, is he actually here? Okay, well. I think I can kill him. I'm not really sure. But I'm gonna sit here and try a little bit. Let's see how much damage I can do. Oh, I don't wanna. I don't want you joining in. Get out of here. Okay, there we go. Oh, I got. Okay, that's a. That's a good upgrade. As I was saying from last episode, it's actually a very good idea to keep the swords that you get. Because they do a little bit more damage than your current one. And it, as you can see right there, I just hit it like 12. There goes a common 10 right there. And yeah, we're doing pretty good damage. Oh, right. I guess we should. Let's just make sure that we have crits on. Pretty sure this is all our. Yeah, we should be able to kill him. Okay, so yes, I wanted to do this quest. I also want to. In a later episode, do the lighthouse quest, or at least start it. But yeah, I'm just gonna come back once this thing is dead. Okay, so I also sped through the leather gathering. Just kill the boars, the... I forgot what they, these called. Angry leaf boars and leaf boars. And eventually you'll get three leather. Unless he means heavy leather, which I've always had in my inventory, and I just forgot to throw away. Alright, so let's head back to where they are. They should be over here. Okay, yes, okay, good. My memory has not failed me yet. Alright. Go talk to Julio, please process. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, good, I do have it. Alright. Alright, so bolt of tail hair times three. Hmm, not bad. Alright, cool, cool. So, yes. Oh, crap. Yes, here we go. Bolt of tail hair. Okay. Wait. Didn't I already give it? Do you already forget if you bring me three boar tail hair, I can make bolt of tail hair. Bring the bolt of tail hair. I process to Mary Weaver. Oh, right, right, right. Oh my god, I ignored the quest. 
Julia asked me to make a doll. Julia asked me to me to make a lucky doll for Floro. I see. I should make a basic doll out of the bolts of tail hair. Yes, please do. Now, I'll give you a hair doll here to complete the lucky doll. I need cured leather times one. You know you can get the cured leather by processing the ruined leather, right? Oh. You, you process that? Process ruined leather. I think I have this, right? Look. The leather is beautifully processed. Okay, yes, I do. Uh, you get leather by killing angry and wild... I mean, leaf war. Angry leaf war and wild... Please rename the monsters. <laughs> I, I swore it was it was a leaf war. I don't know why it's, it says something else like that. Alright, now what do we do? Oh, we bring it to Julia. Nope. Wait, so what? Okay, you need to give it to Mary Weaver along with cured leather times one. You can get cured leather from Mary Weaver. Oh my god. Wait. I think I need to pick up three cured leather. Okay, yeah, that's the idea. Okay, so I don't have three. Okay. Yep. Time to go far more. I will excuse you guys from the boringness of killing boars until I find a boss or something special comes up. Hold on, guys. Before I can, you know, while I'm continuing my boar killing spree, look at this. I just went up and down a little bit, and look at this. There are no bots. Oh my god. Oh my god, the bots are gone. It's like a blessing in disguise. By the way, this is going to be uploaded on the exact same day that's recorded, so, uh, yay, thank you, Pop to us. I can finally, this would have been much tougher to do as a quest had they still been here. A lot more tougher. But don't worry, we're just getting armor because I feel like once we get to crabs and then the mushroom spore, we're pretty much going to be dead. So, I think we're going to need as much armor as we can get. Alright, let's... Alright, I should probably cut the video again. Uh, give me my sword. Give, give me my sword. I'm standing on it. Okay. Right, cut again. And we are now finished. We have finished our farming spree. <clears throat> oh my god, that took forever. I almost leveled up off of one little training spree and I'm way too high. I am way too high. I need to go down. I can see the cooies over there. Oh wait, no. Am I too low? No, I'm way too low. Okay. Now we need to go back and finish this tail hair down. Tail hair down. Eh. English. I know it, but I don't know it. Okay, so... As soon as I am able to walk down off this tree... We can finally come down here to Julio! Oh. Wait. No, I mean Merryweather, right? Merryweather. Um. Wait. That's what we're doing, right? We are processing rune leather. Yeah, we're. Okay. Oh my god, it took so long, I, I completely forgot the process. <laughs> okay, we're done, we're done. Alright, I bought the crude leather, and we have a lucky doll. Bring it to Fiora in the north of. Okay. North of Woody Wordy. Which is exactly what we're gonna do. I feel like there are so many new players here, and wow, people have the pet. Ah, uh, maybe I might have to. Maybe I might not have to redo my pet quest as I thought. Sorry, I'm fixing my headphones, by the way, so if you hear. Fidgeting sounds, is, that's just what it is. Here's your lucky doll for you, Floro. Hmm, I think this is the doll Julio said before. Did you bring it for me? Yes. Here you go. Thanks so much. In return, I'll give you an armor that you can wear. It'll be much better than what you're wearing now. You seem like a pretty skilled adventurer now. When you become level 6, try visiting Mushroom Marshall. Which is a false propaganda. You could literally visit it right at level 5. But I guess just to be safe. And if you finish this quest. 
with good gear and a weapon, then yes, you should definitely do this. But yes, here we are. We have... What is this? Leather or jacket? Right, okay. Um, I don't believe you can enchant this if somebody else higher level than me is asking that. Um, I do not believe you can enchant this. Is that person asking me for something? I, I don't know. I'm willing to help you if you need it. I don't know if you were following me for some reason or not. Okay, so yes. Now, the whole reason why we have this armor is because we are going to hit level 8 in this video. How long is this video? I keep checking because I'm trying to do everything in like a short time so I can catch up with people who are like farther ahead of me or like kind of far ahead of me so yes um now we need to go to over here oh wait I think um should I go there um nah, let's just go to village all right yeah we're just gonna recall we don't need to all the way down here we could just go here and sell our items which today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys about the process of selling which I like like I did in my last video all right level nine we don't need lollipops anymore um blue potions unless you're a mage you don't need them we're gonna keep those dried mushroom I did see a quest about that last time while I was looking for extra quests to do, but I did not want to do that quest because it's just a beer quest. Unless it comes to the lighthouse quest, well then we might be struggling. Mushroom spore, get rid of it. Cured leather, I have no idea why we still have this. Heavy leather, old feather. I guess we'll just keep those things temporarily. I feel like they'll be useful sometime. Rusty sword. Um. Oh, it doesn't sell for anything? Wow, okay. Um, wild boar meat. I guess we can get rid of this, unless you want to complete the new adventure quest, which does give you bags, but for me, I can't really get too many bags because uh, my inventory space and I only have three more slots left, so my extra bag is already inside of... Where are you? There you are, here. All right, wooden shortened bow. This is just one of the items that drop from whenever you kill borers in the woody woody forest. I got a practice sword myself, but it didn't have any enchantments on it, so it's just a regular practice sword. We can cooey down, we keep those. Mystic stone, we keep that. Novice bandage, you never know, just in case you have to passively heal out of combat, and it might be an emergency, but we have so many Lester restoration potions, we should be fine. Practice sword. We can definitely sell our old practice swords now because they are not better than our current one. Than the enchant, the non enchanted one. <clears throat> oh my god, my, my English. Wild boar tail hair. We no longer need this now that we have done the quest for it. Unless you feel like crafting, which I will do another video on that in the future after I finish this last way. <laughs> on a beginner's way to crafting. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. All right, wild boar barbecue. Oh, this doesn't even heal. Oh my god, sell that. Yeah, they, useless. Wooden short bow. Um, wow, this is actually this is actually good stats if I had gone a ranger. Yeah, we don't need it. And um, in here we have adventure sword, which came from the box that we open. We have our practice sword, which we do not need because it has lower crit rate and still the same amount of damage. Another one, plus two, but less crit, so we don't need it, even though it has the enchantments. In our beginner bag, we have Sparkling Berry for a quest that we could do later on in line, but we don't need to do that because we are going to completely pass by the Woody Wordy Forest super fast. But if you feel like you want to be a completionist and do every single quest, Maybe I might do videos for those. I don't know. I'll see how much I'll see how good this how good I feel after I'm done with this warrior for level 15. Power coins, we'll keep those. Wooden staff, we will definitely sell that. We do not need it. Mango water, you will keep. And your old frayed robe that you picked up out of the weird woody woody forest or your other robe, which I forgot the name of. Absolutely sell it because now you are have better armor. You have leather armor, which gives you more defense and plus two. So it's just originally better. Unless you have man on yours, which in that case you're 
cloak that you get from the quest should be originally better, but I'm not really sure. Don't take my word on that. Wooden short bow, yes again, gone. You're not a ranger. And that's about it. Novice combination book, we shall keep. Just in case of any other older videos. And that's about it, okay. So, for now, I shall get this for my training quest. And I will be right back. Oh my god, wait, 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 I almost forgot. We have to upgrade our, <laughs> we have to upgrade our skills. Okay, because we're going into level eight, we obviously need to get the brand newer skills. So we're gonna go to Reader Owl. To which case, at 5.2, thousand gold we should be able to get just about all the wild swings if you have not um you should be able to get to parry two right parry parry two yes okay we will get that and then you should be able to get counter attack now counter attack is always go counter parry one and counter attack one before you go counter attack two and parry two at my level i would say because when you hit, before you hit, um, excuse me for a sec. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, somebody came out here to talk to me. Okay, so you always want to go parry one and two counterattack one before you go parry two and counterattack two. I mean counterattack at all. Because it's always better well, in in my opinion, I think it's better if you're if you at least have more damage, like on your rotation of your skills. So you're able to block already. Yes, one percent may not seem like a lot, but once you have a shield, I feel like it just goes up more. So you should probably just go counter attack because this skill will come up more often than not. And then you can go to block two, and then parry two, or you can I mean sorry not parry two, I mean counter attack two, and then parry two. Because you always want more damage, but your block will always upgrade with the shields. So, it really doesn't matter too much. Because weapons don't actually have originally block. It's always, you know, just a myth. Just, just a myth. Okay, so we're always going to swap counterattack to the middle one and then put hammerage over here. Because we always want to keep this as a middle bar for me. Um, in terms of these two right here, why I have two wild swing is because, well, originally whenever you use a skill as a book, you will always have the option, sorry, not the option, it will always go to your skill bar, always. So whenever you use a skill, like a skill book, and you just now get the skill, it will always go to your skill bar, so that's why there are two wild swings there. Because I decided to put a second one down, just in case. Also, I remember a long, a while ago, whenever, before the numbers were on your skill bar, you had to literally put the skill back on your skill bar in order for it to actually upgrade the levels, and it was kind of buggy, so, yeah, I kind of got used to being careful about, you know, not having stun one instead of, like, stun two. <laughs> Meanwhile, my skill bar still has stun one saved on the skill bar, but nope, it's not like that anymore. Now they show your levels on there. So now we are 100% sure. Okay, I'm just gonna cut the video right here and we're gonna walk on to Mushroom... Mushroom Marshall. And here we are. Back where we were last episode in Mushroom Marshland. And... Today, we are act... I mean, sorry, not today. Oh my god. Alright, so... Uh, hold on a second. Oh my god, I keep getting calls. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. It's done right now. I put on do not disturb, but they still work. Like, the calls can still go through, so I don't know. Alright. Oh my god, I just got a woody worry shield with the. Wait a minute, more block? Oh, it's more fire resist. Not that that actually matters, because fire resist, you're not actually going to get hit by any fire monsters at the beginning of the game, so, yeah. Okay, in today's episode, like I said, I want to get to level 8. The reason for that is, well, multiple reasons. One, we gain a new sword, so now we don't have to absolutely be defeated by lower-level monsters like spiders. And also, we can go train in the mushroom spore. 
hopefully. I'm gonna test that out if I can. And number two is because I have to put on these costumes that I put on my character. Because as you should probably know, you cannot trade costumes unless the character is a certain level. Which is why I have them on this character. <laughs> Still on this character, I mean. I was gonna trade them to myself, like, oh yeah, I'm giving myself costumes, but no, that's not the that's not the case. And level eight, oh my god, what the oh. Okay, level eight, yay. Now now that we are level eight, one thing we're gonna do is first off, we need counterattack too, but we don't exactly have the money for that, so we're gonna skip out on that. Our next gift box is at level nine. That's what we have to keep in mind. So, we're gonna equip our adventure sword, which gives more stats than a practice sword. So, you know, four to 12 attack, speed 1.2, crit one. It has less crit, but the attack and plus five will make up for the lack of crit that it has. And plus our deadly will make up for the lack of crit that we lose. For the crit that we lose. So yeah, two to six, 1.2, crit three to 4.12 we always want damage speed 1.2 same speed crit one there we go and spiders are now the normal level to us look how much damage we're doing <laughs> finally i can now kill spiders easily which is what i've wanted all right could we now we're gonna i might have to talk about bag management one day this is absolutely horrendous all right next up on the menu is finally we're gonna There, okay, there. I cannot believe, there. Congratulations. Now I can make this for her video title. <laughs> Cause I was running out of like video titles to use for my things and um, I don't have too much going on with it. So yeah, we're gonna have to keep this on because gear from this point on forward kind of gets a little wild along with hats and stuff. Luckily, we can hide hats, but I guess we'll just wear this for now. Anyways, we don't need to keep all this on, so yeah, we can just take it. You know, we don't need it. We don't need it. Get in your bag. Get, get in your bag, you two. Go in there. All right. Okay, so now that we are level 8 and oh my god this spider did not know he was doing that much damage. Okay, now that we're level 8, we are going to, I guess, keep training on spiders, but for now I want to make sure that I can at least kill poisonous spiders before I check the next area. So, I want to kill this spider, kill this spider, I mean, I want to kill this spider. Okay, so this is super easy. Okay, this is a good check. All right, now we want to go in here. If you come directly to this location, at least where all these mushrooms are, which is gonna be the coordinates right above my screen or underneath my health and MP, you're gonna see the coordinates 3370, 1244, and we are gonna go in here. We're gonna see mushroom spore. Right. Exact same place I was talking about last time where it stole the new map music. <laughs> but it's fine. I, no one really liked the mushroom spore anyway. Except for whenever it drops good gold. So yes, this is gonna be our next enemy. Our next training enemy, I mean. We're gonna train here. We can also farm in here. But most likely, that's not gonna be the case because I believe there are mini bosses that I cannot kill. Therefore, we will not do that. So, yeah. As for EX, oh right, we should probably put my, I mean, we're not really struggling on anything. Let's just put this in our bag over there. We don't really need it out. Potions always on the three under bags that we have. So that way we're not struggling whenever we, we try to do more like healing and then they're not in the exact same place. You also can put potions on your hot bar, and then, you know, just put your pet over here in the middle, just in case, you know, you want to keep track of everything. Which is good, because then you can use it from your hot bar if you click on it, and then, boop, 
there you go. And it'll always put the next one in its slot no matter where it is in your bag. So you don't have to put them in here. They'll always be right there on the on the side of your screen. Right there. Okay. Now Mushroom Spore is a level eight map. Level eight to level eight to ten? Oh nine? I think it's I think it's ten. I'm not really sure. I think there are monsters or like just mini bosses in general that are ten. But I think this place only goes up to nine, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that. Also, my EXP buff ran out. Gosh, dang it. Is the event over? I don't want to check. That kind of be rude. Uh, okay. Well, this is what we're going to be training on. Mush Poisonous Mushroom. Sorry. I forgot the name of it. Also, the cars outside are super loud. What is going on out there? All right, don't worry. We always want to kill cave mushrooms because they drop mushroom spore. Mushroom. Mushroom spore. I said that right. I know I said that right. I'm just trying to show the item. Whatever it may be. What the? Oh. Yes, mushroom spore. Uh, I don't think this is useful for anything. I believe not, unless it's at Kuin, but I don't believe he actually gives you too much of anything. Luckily, with this armor, you should be able to most likely have monsters like these guys, where we were getting absolutely defeated last episode. Look at us now. We're able to 2v1 these mushrooms. But in general, 2v1 them. You know, we can kill one while the other one's hitting us, and we should be a little bit more fun perfectly fine, better off, you know, okay, we're just gonna pot. But yes, that is gonna be the whole type of deal that we have going on here. All right, there we go. There we go. Luckily, hemorrhage isn't such a useless skill at lower levels. Um, I believe it always will fall off once you get slam. Once you get slam, hemorrhage will be no longer on our hotbar, and it will no longer be a skill. We will... I mean, we'll always have this skill, but we won't actually use the skill. So, yeah. Because there's no way I'm going to save 12k just to... Just to reset all my skills at lower level. We don't need to do that. It's, it's perfectly fine, guys. You can live with hemorrhage just for 10 more levels until we get to the farming levels. So, yeah. So, there's someone in here. Alright. Oh. Excuse me, we'll be on our way. I need to heal anyways. We'll kill this one. So yeah, anyways, I guess we'll just talk about my day for a while. Oh my god, this is like seven minutes, what the heck? I swear, every time I plan a video and then it comes out to like super long and then every time I go with the normal video, it just comes out to super short, so, I don't know. Maybe I'll record three videos today it is cold outside and I want to be under my blanket also it's November so yeah you know in Texas that's kind of like the worst time to say oh yeah you know it's definitely the time to not have the heat on in your house you know because it's very cold outside I think it's like 20 here where I live but it shouldn't be I mean, I used to live in Michigan, but that was absolutely hell, and oh my god, I never want to go back. I mean, compared to here, it's not that bad, and um, it's not that bad in te Texas, you know. But in Michigan, uh, avoid Recito. Okay, we're just gonna end the episode here, <laughs> and we should talk about more. In the next video so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys have enjoyed and if you guys did leave a like subscribe down below if you're right on new to the channel and uh yeah i will see you guys in the next video